Welcome to Alpha Cars and Motorcycles. Today, we're taking a close look at this 2016 Honda CRV All Wheel Drive LX. We're going to learn about its condition inside and out and learn why it offers such a great value in today's market. If you are interested in the CRV, reach out to us at alphacars.com. Give us a call, 978 263 9000. Remember, we do offer transportation as well. So even if you're not local to us here in New England, still reach out. We can make the buying process very easy and enjoyable. And in the end, you'll have a CRV delivered right to your driveway. And you can view a high resolution uh, detailed photo set on our website on the vehicle's listing on alphacars.com and even view things like a free Carfax report and the detailed tire and brake life, things of that nature. But now let's take a close look at this Honda. First, let's start by doing an exterior walk around and we'll get to know the paint condition here. I will note there are some various uh, little dings. You can see there how the light reflects differently. Um, throughout the vehicle, there are a few little dings and imperfections. The vehicle does have um, some paint work as well on a couple panels, which I will talk more about the paint condition um, of this vehicle a bit later in this video. But for now, we're just gonna do our walk around and we can see this nice black paint. It has a nice shine to it. It's very glossy. Um, th there's no really one, you know, big imperfection that will jump out at you on this car. It really does present very well. There's a little ding right there. We can see how the light reflects differently. There's also a couple uh, little dings on the hood. We can see how it reflects there and there. So there are things that, you know, you will pick up on if you maybe look very close at a few areas, um, there is a very, it's actually hard to see on camera, um, but there's a light little scratch right here on the surface on the hood. And the front bumper does have a couple little scuffs on it. There's a scuff um, just right here. But in my book, if I was gonna buy this vehicle, um, if anything, I'd be relieved that it already has some imperfections on it because then I can just enjoy it, get from point A to point B and not worry about the little dings and scratches. Now looking at the wheels, it has a very nice set of aftermarket wheels. I think it complements the body of the car nicely. And check that out, brand new Continental tires. They are literally new. We installed them here. There's actually still part of the manufacturer's sticker uh, on the tread right there. And the front brakes are also new. We can see there some nice uh, coated rotors to prevent corrosion and the nice clean surface. So really this vehicle is ready to go, uh, turnkey, ready to enjoy and get to your uh, destinations. Now let's go through the interior as we open up the tailgate here. We have a nice set of mats actually. So let's look at these. We've got the front mats, which we can see are in really, really nice condition. There's a back mat here for the rear seating area. Once again, in really nice condition. So let's carefully put that down. And now we've got our cargo space, so much space in the CRV, uh, and these seats do fold down flat, which I'll show you quick actually, because it's, it's pretty impressive. You actually lift up uh, on this lever and the whole thing goes down at once um, on its own. It's pretty impressive. So let's, now do this and check this out. We're gonna pull this lever right here. That pops forward and then our back of the seat comes down. Look at that, two pulls and we've got the seats flat, just about flat. And you've got a ton of room to put things in here and use this vehicle for much more uh, than just carrying you know, a few people. And there is a spare tire. We've got a jack right here to go with that little scissor jack and the uh, spare tire is in good shape there so that's good to see now let me flip the seats back up show you how easy this is let me just make sure the seat belt stays here that's all there is to it even look at this underneath the bottom cushions here nice and clean and you can even have the seats split so then you can 
maybe pass something through on one side, but have a passenger on the other side. And now we'll just flip that up and we're good to go. Look at the interior of this car. It is in really, really nice condition. The carpets are in nice shape, all the cloth. And I like this kind of two-tone uh, seating here. And we even have the armrest with the cup holders. I don't see any abnormal wear or staining or discoloration. It all looks awesome. And you would think this vehicle really has a lot less mileage um, than it actually does. This vehicle has just ticked over 99,000 miles and you would never expect that with the condition of the seating and interior. Now looking at the passenger seat here and the passenger door, it all looks very nice. The dash condition is great. It does have a very nice aftermarket head unit that does have CarPlay, which we will take a little look at that once we get the ignition on. And check this out. We've actually got, uh, there's a lot of service records that go with the vehicle, as well as the factory uh, owner's manual, owner's booklet, and check this out. We've got the original window sticker here. I think this is always very exciting. Sorry about the camera. There we go, get it to adjust. Of course, you get it to lay out a bit, a bit more flat and have a better look, but check that out. That does come with the vehicle. It has been preserved as it's been in its factory uh, little holder here, which I will very carefully uh, put that back. Actually, I put it down here so I can put that away properly later. And it does even have the uh, remote <laughs> for the head unit. So that's something that can be hard to find or hard to get with the, with the vehicle that has the aftermarket head unit. People normally uh, don't keep track of those too well. Now let's put our mats just back in the vehicle there and we'll shut the tailgate. Does that very smoothly. Now let's look at our driver's seat and then we'll hop in. So we've got the bolster here. A little bit of wear right here, but there's nothing through the material. Um, it's more of just the, the marks just from this being exercised. Um, so there is a little bit of that right there and right here, but the actual uh, seating area, not the side portion, but this actual seating area on top is actually perfect on that side. So once again, cloth seat looking really, really nice. A little bit of discoloration here and there, but nothing really out of the ordinary for the, for the driver's seat with a vehicle um, of this use, of this mileage. But even all right here, looking nice. Let's get in now. And this vehicle does have two uh, factory keys with it as we can see right there. So let's put this in here. And it just starts right up. It almost doesn't crank over more than once. As soon as you tap the uh, starter there, or engage the starter, it just starts right up. We've got our little factory screen here with some information, and then the aftermarket Pioneer head unit, um, which this is actually a very nice one. These are not cheap, and this one does have Bluetooth capabilities and the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And it does have, if you want to use the wired CarPlay, um, it does have the cord just kind of sitting right here for you. We've got a charging outlet there as well as tons of storage. I love, I don't know if these are factory Honda. Uh, if someone in the comments wants to tell me, this intermediate piece right here between the seat and the console, um, this is awesome. There's a little storage for maybe coins or cards. Um, but it keeps things from falling between the seat and your console. And it actually goes over, you can see here, the seatbelt buckle comes up through it. Actually, this side would be easier to show you. It comes up through it. So it literally has a full ceiling uh, protection from things falling down there, which is cool. The center armrest is in very nice condition. It opens very smoothly. And there are some more outlets and inputs in there. Let's peek at the headliner now while we're up here. And all of that looks great, especially with a lighter headliner. Uh, it would be very easy to see if there was some, some wear or damage. And even looking up here, we've got our lights, which I can put that to door or just use them independently. And there's even, I like this, you can take, keep an eye on your passengers. There I am right there. Keep an eye on myself. Of course, don't do that while you're driving. Um, but then that can just flip away right there. And I'm not sure if I read off the mileage when I started it. I don't think I did. 99,500 
and 52 miles right there. The heat is blowing nice and hot. I did have it running a little bit just to get it out here um, because it is pretty chilly outside. The car does say 45 there, um, but I think it feels a little colder and especially if you're in the wind. And there is the little microphone here that I'm pointing to um, that of course is for to take uh, calls on the head unit there. Now let's pop the hood and take a quick look under there. I just had to find the little lever there. Nice and clean under here, nice smooth idling engine. And yeah, there's not a whole lot to talk about under here, but it is nice to see just how clean everything is. Nothing's caked up with dirt or dust. Everything's very clean and orderly. And you almost don't know the engine's running uh, when you're in the vehicle. It's very, very smooth. So now as we get back in, I can even show you, we'll put it in drive. And this vehicle, it just, it drives super smooth. Has a nice turning circle as well. Let's check that out. We're almost, we're almost pivoting right there. We see the automatic door locks went on there. We've got some of the lighting in the instrument cluster as we go over some bumps. There's no noises in the suspension. It's just, it's such a nice driving car, ready to take you to work every day or ready for maybe your next road trip. Now I'll give it a little gas as we're on the little straight. And it doesn't like that. I don't have the seatbelt on, but of course we are on our private property here, just in the parking lot. And now we just put it back in park. And just to show you all this is very responsive. The AC does work good as well. We don't really need that today. It is very dry um, in addition to being cold. But now with all that being covered, I, th I think I covered most of the functions and condition and everything pretty thoroughly on the CRV here. But let's talk about the vehicle's uh, title and history. So this vehicle, uh, you may be learning this now or you may already know because you looked at our listing online and now you're watching this video. So thanks for watching. Uh, it does have a salvage title and let me give you some history about that. So this vehicle, it was actually sold as a Honda certified pre-owned vehicle twice in its life. It has very good service history as you saw all of those uh, service records physically with the car. Um, but also the on the Carfax, there's regular oil changes. And like I said, it was Honda certified twice. Um, and then in February of 2023, there was an accident and it was deemed uh, a total loss. Of course, that doesn't mean the car had extreme damage. It could have just been the circumstance of what the owner wanted to do with the insurance and depending on the compensation there and the value at the time with the current market. Um, there's a lot of variables that go into that. but the vehicle was deemed the uh, total loss. And then it was actually sold to uh, a body shop that fixed it. And then the vehicle was sold to the, the previous owner who uh, then sold the vehicle to us now like a year and a half later. So they did have the car a year and a half. They didn't have any weird issues or anything. It was just like driving a clean title CRV, perfectly normal. And I mean, from the distance, it does look perfectly normal. And I am gonna, do some paint meter readings and kind of explain to you uh, my findings on the vehicle and why I think this was just a light cosmetic damage, um, nothing structural. So now I've got the paint meter and what I'm gonna do is read up here the factory paint. We've got 5.1, 4.5 mils, 4.5 mils again. So this is reading the thickness of the paint. Um, it's the distance between uh, this meter and the metal surface, which then gives us the thickness of the paint here. So we've got 5.2 right there. Let's go to this store. We've got 4.0. So that's all within the factory range. With this color, you'd expect to see up to around five or five and a half mils. Now we get to this quarter panel and we have seven mils and seven again. Sorry about the camera here. Uh, 3.9 up there, so that is factory, or it was blended into factory. We have 6.6. 6. 
6.8, 4.3. So to my eye, just this area was cosmetically refinished. We see the evidence. Um, you can see it in the texture. If you're in the right lighting and you have a trained eye, you can see it in the texture a little bit. Uh, but with the paint meter, we confirmed that this, just this area here, and then from here on, it was blended into the roof. Um, this was repainted, had the cosmetic paintwork. And like I said, I believe this was just purely cosmetic. This right here is still factory glass. You can see the Honda logo there, Honda Automotive. And there is the factory trim and gasket, which you can see um, with how that looks. That seems original with how it's kind of worn. This would be shiny and black and have no you know, evident uh, weathering to it. And if we look in the door jam right here, um, there is the little bit of tape line you can feel with your finger right here where they, they taped this inner portion to leave that original and then just paint it out here. And let me show you this. We take out the paint meter. We have 3.0. I'll even go right here. 2.8, 2.9. So in this door jam, which is you know a structural part of the, of the vehicle unibody, this is all original. And I don't see any waviness. I don't see any, any you know, red flags in here. This all looks perfectly original and it really just looks like it might've gotten scratched or dinged. And what the body shop did was just repaint that little area. I'll show you on this side and I'll give it the same treatment. So we've got 6.5, 7.2, 6.8, 4.4, then we get back into the original paint over there. This door, we'll start to see 9.5. On this right side, there was a bit more paint work, 9.5. So most of this, we've got 12, which that's perfectly normal. That's actually really good for, for uh, having paint work. Sometimes things won't even read on your meter because they use so much uh, Bondo. So really anything in that 10 to 12 area at most, that's actually uh, a really good job there's, there's really not much or any filler which is what you want to see so we've got 9.1 there 9.1 there 3.9 and 4.3 so this front fender is factory you can tell by the texture as well and then so most of this side did have the paintwork on these two doors and then this quarter panel and then i'm guessing due to the due to the texture they, they probably blended into the bumper a little bit um, but the tailgate here this this is all a factory paint. You can tell by the little bit of imperfections on it and by the readings um, that this all back here appears to, be, appears to be factory. But same thing in our door jam right here. Check this out. This is all original 3.3. And I appreciate you watching this video. If you're still sticking around with me, uh, I'm sure you're very interested in this vehicle and I'm making this video talking as if I was interested in buying it because as with any purchase, especially if it's a salvage title, I want to know why I want to learn more. And this vehicle is going to be priced, you know, a few thousand um, under market because of the salvage title. So it's really going to be an awesome deal. 3.1. So as I've just shown, and once again, there's no, uh, no obvious repair or any sort of, you know, uh, deformation in the metal. All of this seems factory. There is the paint line you can feel right here where they taped to just paint the outside surface. And you can see the little bit of texture difference right there. So what that's telling me is whatever, you know, uh, accident the vehicle was in, it was purely cosmetic and it was just, you know, maybe over some scratching and dings over so much of the vehicle that insurance was just like, hey, this is a lot of potential work. And I'm sure they gave them the option to total it out and get their uh, get their payout for it. And they probably just went with that option. Because even if you peek underneath this car, uh, it doesn't appear any suspension components were replaced. Nothing stands out as being new all of a sudden. It, it purely just seems like a cosmetic repair. And now to you, the buyer, that's just a big savings and money. You're getting the same reliable Honda CRV as any other one on the road, just for quite much less, uh, just to maybe you know, live with some of the little cosmetic uh, imperfections this one might have. So I want to thank you for watching this video, listening to uh, what I think, what we think about the 
CRV and backed up by the you know hard data of the paint meter there and just our uh, many years of experience. So if you are interested in the CRV, like I said, reach out to us 978-263-9000. Send us an email, sales at alphacars.com. This has been Ian reporting from our Boxborough location. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe so then you don't miss out on the latest motoring content.